Welcome, everybody. Joseph Robert, the fantasy football counselor. Welcome to week six, Waiver Wire. Listen, week five was intense. We actually got Tuesday night football today. It's been crazy. It's been a lot of back and forth and a lot of world pandemic stuff and a lot of injuries and a lot of uncertainty for fantasy football 2020 this season. And today we're talking about week six waiver wire. But I'm telling you, at this point, your team should be solidified. You should know who you're playing, how you're doing. You should have your starters locked in. You should be omitting and taking out players that are just crap in the bed for you the past couple of weeks. You should be pretty solid. But I'm going to give you guys a couple names to help cover you right now for week six waiver wire in case there's an injury. Now, there were some injuries, including Dalvin Cook. It was a minor injury to his groin. He should be back maybe next week or maybe uh, he sits next week, you know, goes over that by and plays the week after. Uh, but listen, Dalvin Cook, we had Dak Prescott, major injury. And this is why I tell you guys, so many people laugh and they say, well, why do I need a backup quarterback, Joe? It's a one quarterback league. This is why. Now you're starting to see it. You're starting to see why you need those backup quarterbacks. So Dalvin Cook, I'm telling you, not a guy I trust. We saw the injury there. I mean, this is just the beginning. You know, this is just the beginning, especially, you know, if it's groin, maybe there's a hamstring in there. They're not telling you. Who knows? It could linger. And I warned you, but the guy got paid. They, they wasted $63 million on it. We saw Madison come in, perform on even a better level than Cook, right? So you got to take a look at the situation, and he's a product of the situation. I keep saying that. I keep saying that, and I keep saying that. Similar to CMC. Yes, CMC is really good, Christian McCaffrey, but Mike Davis came in, absolutely tore it up, meaning he's a product of the offense, meaning that offense can produce really good running backs, whether it be O-line, whether it be system, whether it be quarterback, whatever it may be, whether it be coaching, they use running back. Similarly similarly to what happened with Le'Veon Bell. He was really good in the Steelers and he came onto the Jets and now he's not he's a non factor. He sucks, right? That is because it's not the talent, guys. Talent is it's a little part of it, obviously, but it's the system, okay? It's a big part of it. Now also, if you have any starts and sits questions for week six, leave them below. I'll try to get to as many as I can. Smash the thumbs up. And of course, join me on Flick Chat, guys. There's a link here below. It's an amazing community. We're chatting during games. It's really immersive. People that are on it are like, oh my God, it's amazing. I love being here. It's a totally immersive environment for them. I'm telling you, Flick Chat below. Now, if you guys are in the car, there is a link in my bio on Instagram. So jump out over my Instagram at Fantasy Football Council. It's right there, link in the bio. I put it in my story mode every day. It's an amazing community. Flick Chat, Fantasy Sports Chat is the name of the room. You guys are going to absolutely love it. And finally, guys, very important, get your Manscaped trimmer at manscaped.com. Head on over there right now, manscaped.com. Use promo code SHOWERLION. I'm telling you, I love my trimmer, guys. It'll help you trim those sensitive areas. They have other products as well. Amazing products, uh, manly products there for you guys. Treat yourself, and if you are a lady, make sure you get your guy uh, a Manscaped uh, Manscaped Shriver 3.0 lawnmower. He's going to absolutely love it, I'm telling you. So manscaped.com, use promo code SHOWERLION. All right, let's get into the waiver wire week six. And I'm telling you, I don't really have too many guys here to share with you, but we're going to have a bit of an open discussion starting with quarterback and moving on, okay? So quarterbacks, I mean, week five was a bit of a mess for a lot of quarterbacks. There were some studs and sucks. Go back and listen to that episode with Tim, including Matt Ryan, Phillip Rivers, guys like that crap in the bed. But I got to put Andy Dalton on top of the waiver wire here. This guy is going to come in and be the backup for Dak Prescott. He's got a lot of weapons around him. How is he going to do? That's uncertain, right? But you got to pick him up if you're a Dak owner. I don't see anyone else you could possibly pick up that could do better. I mean, Kyle Allen, but he got hurt. Alex Smith came in. So if Alex Smith gets a start, he could be a consideration as well. But you got to take a look at quarterbacks that are succeeding consistently. And hopefully you guys have one of those guys. And you don't have to worry about grabbing a quarterback. Now, if Justin Herbert's available in your waiver wire, make sure you consider grabbing him as well. He had a great week uh, this past week. Unbelievable. Having four touchdowns, zero interceptions, 27.36 points. And those are your quarterbacks. But again, with quarterbacks, guys, make sure, that's why I tell you, get a backup quarterback, a backup plan for a backup plan. This is why, right? Injuries happen. Dak Prescott owners, I, I feel for you. I feel for Dak. But at the end of the day, I think there was a uh, a time, I think it was in April, I was looking at a post, I think it was May actually, Dak Prescott was offered a lot of money, I can't remember the exact amount, 160, 175 million, I can't remember the exact amount, but I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't want to misquote this, I believe he turned that down, so a lot of people are feeling sorry for him, oh, well, it was a contract year, he was proven, he was, he was on fire, he was doing, he turned down a lot of money, and that's what greed does, you know, I mean, 
take the money. I mean, 175 million is nothing to laugh at, right? So I think there was an offer presented. I think it was a lot of money. Again, don't quote me on the amount and the time and the deal, but go back and look. I believe there was a deal done because I looked back at one of my posts. There was a deal done, I think back in May. And I'm telling you, like you should just take in the money. Now look what happened, right? Don't get greedy, guys. One in the hand is better than two in the bush. You ever heard that saying? All right, moving on to the running back position here, okay? Running backs, when you're looking at these guys, listen, you should be loaded at running back. That's why I say go, you know, robust RB. Now, there isn't too many running backs here that stand out to me. Now, maybe Devontae Freeman's available in your leagues. Maybe Alexander Madison, because I think Cook's going to be out next week. So Freeman, Madison, can some considerations there for you. Justin Jackson, you know, he got most of the volume yesterday, but he didn't look that good. Maybe consider grabbing him from the Chargers if he's available. You could go J.D. McKissick if he's available. He only had 10.9 points uh, this past week. Nothing to get excited about. You know, there isn't anybody here that I could say, oh, you got to jump on the wire and grab him. I mean, Cam Akers, he could eventually take that job. He was integrated back in, but only got nine attempts for 61 yards. Didn't do too great. But again, it's a committee there with the Rams, Henderson being the one, but Cam Akers could emerge there. But again, coming off that rib injury, it might take some time to get him fully integrated. But other than that, man, I mean, literally, you should be loaded at running back. And this is something I preach in my 16-round draft position. You should be loaded. Now, also, Chase Edmonds, if he's available, make sure you grab him. He seems to be the one over there in Arizona. But very hard to trust that. And I said stay away from Drake. Mind you, Drake had a touchdown, but that was his only saving grace, saving grace entire season, okay? Uh, all right, wide receiver. Now, I usually say there's one-hit wonders. Be careful. But this is a wide receiver you should have stashed on your bench already. The guy I'm talking about is Chase Claypool. Had a phenomenal week. Now, is he going to continue to have that phenomenal week again? This big? Probably not this big. I mean, he had four touchdowns. Is that going to continue? He even had a rushing touchdown. I think it is going to continue, but not on this level. It was a a pinnacle game, 42 points, 42.6 PPR fantasy points. That's phenomenal. Is that going to continue? Yes, but not on this level. So when I say it's going to continue, what do you mean? What I mean is that this guy could potentially take the wide receiver one position. I said this in my videos before. Don't draft Juju. Juju, Juju, uh, grab, Ju- don't grab Juju, get Chase Claypool and get yourself Deontay Johnson. And one of them will break out. And you literally paid nothing to get Claypool, right? So I said, stash him on your bench. He's on my bench, all my teams. Now he was on my bench this week. I didn't play him and I'm kicking myself. I'm so upset. I would have won all my leagues. I'm potentially going to lose a league tonight because I didn't have Chase Claypool in, but what can you do? You know, I mean, what can you do? It is what it is, but he had a breakout game. At least I have him. I don't have to go through the waiver wire and try to grab him. Love Chase Claypool. Make sure you try to get him if he is not uh, on your team already. And he should be if you're a Council Nation guy. All right, Travis Fulgham had a great game with Philly. 13 targets, 10 receptions, and a touchdown. Phenomenal game, proving he could be the one there in Philly. Who knows? Could be a one-hit wonder guy, but I do like Claypool a little bit more there. Other wide receivers that you could consider, again, Slayton, if he's available, Preston Williams, these guys are pretty much taken. They they both had good respective weeks, finishing 11th and 12th at the wide receiver position, respectively. Now, understand there is a game tonight, Bills and Titans. Maybe Diggs comes in and starts emerging, p- finishing top 10, bumping some of these guys out of the rankings that I'm currently stating right now. Uh, LaVisca Chenault had a 14.9 gamer. Nothing too exciting, but he did get eight targets. Could be a Jacksonville viable wide receiver flex play. And Greg Ward, again, 12 points. Another guy could be available in your leagues. There is other guys that you may want to consider, but I'm not really sold on them. I mean, like... This guy, Colin Johnson from Jacksonville. I mean, do we really trust that guy? Are we going to say, oh, I'm going to start Colin Johnson? We need to, you know, some people have a touchdown in a game. They have points. They put up points in that one week, right? It doesn't mean it's going to be a consistent trend. So that's something you have to monitor, right? Emmanuel Sanders had a good week. Is that going to continue with Michael Thomas returning? Probably not, right? But if you have Emmanuel Sanders, why not? Grab him off the waiver wire if you you don't have him, okay? Moving on to the tight end position, guys. I'm telling you, with tight end, what you see is what you kind of get. So much uncertainty, but Darren Fells, if he's available, grab him. He seemed to be a primary, not so much a primary target, but he did put up a lot of points, 13.7 points. Only two targets, two receptions, but he did get that touchdown. Again, a lot of touchdown inflation. Again, going back to last week, guys, you can see a lot of the guys that performed last week. I'm going to pull it up right here didn't perform this week. Like Robert, well, he didn't play. Robert Tony is a bad example. But Dalton Schultz, right, finished fourth amongst tight ends in week four. Looking at week five, where's Dalton Schultz? Where did he finish? Did he even even play? I don't even see him here. 
He didn't fit. Oh, he finished 38th amongst tight ends. So there you go. I mean, everyone's like, oh, I got to get Dalton Schultz on my team. But like, yeah, he had a top 10 finish in week four, but did nothing in week five, right? So you got to watch those one week wonders. That's what I tell you. When I look at waiver wire, I'm really, really selective and I make sure that there's some substance there. And I really feel that there's some substance with guys like Chase Claypool, not so much with some of the other guys we're mentioning and talking about here, like Irv Smith Jr., right? He, I think he, what do you have? Five targets, four receptions, 10 points. Is that going to continue next week? Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't care. So I really, I'm not a fan of waiver wire because I all, I'm all about getting that perfect team. It's never perfect, but as close to a perfect team as I can, knowing who those breakout players are initially. Initially, guys, you got to know who those players are initially. Who's going to break out? Claypools, right? Robbie Anderson of the world. So you don't got to scour and look for the waiver wire pickups and get it while everybody else is trying to also try to get it and jump on the train when it's hot. Now, I'm seeing a lot of these can sheeps, this guys coming out with like obvious things like, oh, Claypool's going to be the one there. I've been talking about this since he got drafted. Like, you know what I mean? And I just, this is why I hate the mainstream. This is why we're taking over, okay? So smash thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Week six waiver wire. Be sharp and address your needs. Make sure you guys do that on the waiver wire pickups. I got to roll out. Guys, thank you. Thank you for, for being here. It means the world to me. Smash thumbs up. And again, Tuesday Night Football. This is a nice treat. I'm kind of excited about it. Make sure you guys watch the game tonight. I need Tannehill to put up a lot of points. Thank you guys for being here. Follow on Insta and Flick Chat, guys. Flick Chat below. Follow Fantasy Sports Chat in Flick Chat. Uh, we're having amazing conversations in there. And manscaped.com. Head on over there. Use promo code SHOWERLINE. Treat yourself and get a discount. We'll talk soon, guys. Thank you.